morning, everyone. Um, I'm really happy to be with all of you today, and thanks uh, for having invited me in this wonderful event. And you, you were right. Um, I've been able to be to join the conference earlier, and I heard great messages around one Europe, around pragmatism and concrete actions. So. What I would like, and yes, I, I have IT background, and uh, quite recently in the last uh, year, I've been appointed uh, in our industry association. The name is Confindustria. For those of you that are not familiar with the name, is like in France, MEDEF, or in Germany, BDI. So it's the industry association. It's, it's quite big, Confindustria, in, here in Italy. Uh, we are representing 150,000 companies in the country and more than 5 million employees. I would say that um, when the president of the industry association, first time ever, decided to have one of his members, one of his president, vice president in this case, with a special task around digital transformation and, and as you can imagine most of the companies that are part of the uh, conf industria are coming from the physical world or from the services and very few from from the digital world but in his vision of how can we make italian enterprises more competitive in the market and internally in the country externally worldwide level he decided to make significant decision. He said, the world I see is the world where the physical processes will meet the digital processes. And because of that, I want to lead together with my team these transitions. I mean, maybe you can say, hey, what is the news? The news is that never happened. And now, uh, after, uh, after a couple of years of these activities, what I would like to share with you are the top three priorities that we as a standard team we have decided uh, to pursue. The first one that is super important, and I'm, I'm sure we are all in alignment with this, is we need talents. If you really would like to transform our physical world in a digital world, the top of mind of all our CEOs in most of our companies, they are saying, hey, I need talents. I need talent to think about new processes. I, have, I need talents to make my company secure. And I need talents to rethink the way I'm running the processes. And when, when you touch the talent thing, you immediately see that we have to avoid the concept of being of the digital sovereignty. We have to think about talents, attracting talents all over the world all over Europe. So top priority is to partner with the IT industry, with the school system, to make sure that from the beginning, we are preparing the talents and the life cycle of our students in order to be ready for this. That's why we, we have identified the top 16 jobs required from our industries all industries, and we are now connecting these jobs to the opportunities for students, and we are partnering with the school system to make sure universities and secondary schools to make sure that we are creating this pipeline of talents. And I believe this is a common theme for, for Europe. The second aspect that is super important is what we call economy of data. And I believe we are, we have, I'm in the right audience to talk about economy of data. It is, as an example, where Gaia X stay. As Confindustria and Francesco Bonfiglio play a significant role in helping us to create the Italian regional hub, Confindustria decided to host, in partnership with the Italian government, the Italian Gaia X regional hub. And one of the key learning again this morning is how can I make sure 
that the Italian regional hub is even more connected with the other hubs because I, I again had a great day, great confirmation on the ability of the others. So I'm, I'm thinking how can I better connect with everyone in Europe to make sure that we are sharing practices around the countries. But when we decided, and when uh, President Bonomi decided to have Gaia X in Confindustria, he decided to bet in what I call the economy of data. And we are experiencing, focusing on four main areas that are, by the way, the four areas of Gaia X at the Italian level that are the Made in Italy, the healthcare, the agriculture, and spaces, other spaces. These are the fourth area we have identified. You immediately see the power when the physical world is meeting the digital world. I have names and names and names of entrepreneurs, CEOs, managing directors or entrepreneurs that capture this transformation and they are increasing their ability to compete. They are hiring people. They are not cutting people. They are growing their business. So what, what we are doing now, I believe the Italian regional hub is not as it, it should be. So it's an area of development for us to be better connected with what Gaia X at the European level is doing to be better connected with the Italian government. And as you probably know, we have a government in place since uh, eight, nine months now. So it's time to come back to them. So there are a lot of things that we have to make it. But at the same time, we see the value to have this economy of data at the heart of the industrial strategy of all companies in the country. And again, it sounds a bit basic, but never happened. So it's a unique opportunity for, for us to become more competitive. The third element is around cybersecurity. And one of the common denominator of these three elements, the talents, the data economy, and the cybersecurity, where we are all in agreement as industries, our companies in the country, is that we are now competing, not anymore as a single company, but we are competing as ecosystems. So if, you, if your ecosystem fail, you will fail. And if we reflect together for a second, if you don't have talents, you cannot be competitive. If you don't understand from the physical world how to transform your digital processes, accelerating to the digital world or the economy of data, leverage what, as an example, GAIA-X is doing, you will not be anymore in business. If your company is not secure, or if you are not conscious enough around cybersecurity, your ecosystem will fail. So it's not anymore a question of being nice, being digital. It's a question of, are we competing? Are we competitive enough as ecosystem, yes or no? And we strongly believe that we are competing in the world as an ecosystem. And the ecosystem can be some of companies, some of companies and countries, some of companies in, in Europe. I mean, you can look at ecosystem as you want. But the point is, on these three elements, we need to be super connected and super aligned on the opportunity. So cybersecurity is the third element. We're investing a lot of time to make uh, all the 150,000 companies more aware. We are partnering with the Italian cybersecurity agencies. We are creating a, an index, a cybersecurity index that is going to be the benchmark for everyone to be more aware of the opportunity to be more competitive, being more secure before, during, and after an attack. So the, these are the three main things I would like to share share with you. And, and I, would, I really would like to make my last sentences around our commitment to GAIA-X as a country. As I was saying before, it's an area of further development. I'm not yet pleased at the level we are in being proactive in giving data spaces, example, great use cases, 
So I'm looking forward to partnering with you and sincere congratulations on the regional hub in Austria. I would love to be to visiting you because I'm aware of the all the great things you are doing, but also it's a message for all of you, all of you there. I'm more than happy to partner with everyone that wants to partner with us in our Italian regional hub because we are ready to take the, the next challenge to create also in Italy in a strong Europe, the economy of data to be more competitive and to be more inclusive and to give opportunities to all our European citizens. Thank you very much again for inviting me and I will leave the, the floor to you. Thank you.